We're doing the miles today. You didn't know that? Oh my gosh! Hey guys, I'm Tegan. I'm Sam. And we are Thrift Kitchens. Welcome, Welcome back, back to our channel. channel. We're back at the gym and today we are going to see if we can pass level six gymnastics. And to help us do that, we have the amazing Sophia. Yay! Hi, okay. Sophia is going to coach us today and show us what we need to attempt to pass level six gymnastics. I know you guys can do it. Skills are a little bit different than your acro skills, but you're so talented and so smart that I know you'll pick it up. Thank you for your faith and confidence. Yes. We just did a video on Sophia's channel where we taught her some tricks from our America's Got Talent routine and she did amazing. So or did she? Oh you guys yeah, have wait. to check the video out she did to um, see. Yeah. So now it's our turn. Everything in gymnastics to us is right. crazy. So which event scares you guys the most? Oh. All of them. Just what? All of them, but um, for whatever reason, every time I think of gymnastics, I think of the big. Really? Just doing yeah. a backflip or anything on the straight line where you might fall off is okay. just like terrifying. Why? What's your like? Which yeah, one scares yours? you the most? Growing up, definitely beam. But there are scary aspects of each event. Like when you're on the high beam, it's definitely the hardest to start to Actually, get comfortable with. <laughs> However, as you excel as an athlete, you start to understand how to conquer your fear. So it doesn't really ever go away, but you start to get better at facing it and understanding how to get yourself through it. I love that. So it's firing so good. Oh, We're going in Olympic order. So it goes vault, bars, beam, floor. First off is the vault. Visually preparing myself vault. right now. You just have to run towards an object at full speed, flip over it, stick the landing. That's that all the matters. Oh my gosh, it. like the stick it run. Yeah. yeah. Yes. On vaults, you can do multiple different entries. You can do a front handspring onto it, you can do a round up onto the board, and then back handspring onto it, flip off of it. <laughs> oh my god. It's insane. Triple twist, double pike. Well, only Simone does that, but. We can yeah. aim. We can aim. Yeah, we're, we're doing the miles today. You didn't know that? That's level six. <laughs> so we're going level six, which is front hand spring up and then fall flat to your back. <gasps> that was sick. The power. Yes, you gotta just run angry towards the board. <laughs> we're gonna have them start off with just a handstand on top of the ball table and fall flat. Nice. Nice. Good. This white line is where you're gonna take off with your last step. Bump. Okay, so we did a video trying men's gymnastics, so we actually used the vault as well. So I'm feeling more confident when I look at the vault. I'm like, okay, I know a few skills. But we're attempting the front handspring, which is very scary because it's basically a front flip. So first up, we're doing handstand. My aim is to get further back on the vault. really good so that means there's a lot of pressure on me to get it now. That was really good. Yes, thank <laughs> goodness. We improved from last time. Yes. You've officially passed level six. Let's go. Yes. Show you guys stuff I have to grip up because otherwise this happens when you do too much bars. These are little pieces of leather that just protect your skin from going around the bar because your hands get really hot and your skin gets weak. Rip and the skin off right? Literally rips yeah. off. Oh god. Yeah, I used to bring the piece of skin home to my parents. When I was Look at my hard work, mom. <laughs> yes. Okay, so this is our second ever attempt on the uneven bar. We're gonna start off with a pull over. Such a fun one. Try 
by a foot hip circle. A full circle forward on the bar. When we start, we want to be pushing up tall with our shoulders. And then we're going to fall forward and then wrap around and come back up on top. I was level six when I was six. So I haven't done this skill in like over 20 years. Just so you guys know, I believe this is a level three skill, but the girls who are learning this put in months to learn a front hip circle. Just because beginners do it doesn't mean it's easy. It still takes time to learn. It helps if you have more speed. Something really cool about the bar is that it's kind of like a trampoline. It's elastic. So if I'm pulling down, it's going to send me back up. That's why we fall, because if we fall with a lot of speed, it's going to pull it down and then shoot us back to the top. You officially have a front hip circle. Woo! I passed that. Woo! Guys, like and subscribe to give Tegan that power to get back up right now. Go, go, go. When Sophia was showing us the skills, I was like, okay, level six, like six year olds do this, we can do it. I really struggled at that. We then tried to add both the skills together. after each other and I lost my technique. Good. 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 Nice. Yes. Beautiful. That one was actually better than Sam's. Oh. Sorry, Sam. Oh no, she did not. We're moving on to balance beam. The scariest event. <laughs> I, I'm already getting nervous. We're going to start on the low beams because that's usually how you start when you're learning beams. Sounds good. Build confidence, <laughs> understand how big the beam is, where it is, as you're moving. So we're going to use these four beams. Let's start off with a dance skill. <laughs> Eyes focused on the beam, head up, eyes down. It's funny because in dancing and acro, you would literally get deductions for looking down at the floor. I'm scared because it's literally like running on the beam and then chucking your legs up and trying to land back on the beam. In level six, you're not required to have a 180, so we can just be about here. In gymnastics, the rules change every four years, so after every Olympic year, they literally change all the regulations and rules to keep challenging the gymnast and evolving the sport. So I'm not even 100% sure on all the rules I'm teaching. So make sure to double check this with your coach before. Now we've kind of got that on the line from the floor. We're gonna go on the beam. Just like that. Awesome. Oh my God. <laughs> That was stunning, and it wasn't just one leap, it was a switch leap. Switch leap. Comment down below if you think we should try it on the actual beam. How many likes do we have to have under this video to have you guys do it on the high beam? Let's say 30,000. <laughs> How about a toe turn? Ooh. Do you guys do turns? I know you do pirouettes, right? Yeah. Oh, pretty. I think... Whoa! Nice! <laughs> this is a little bit of a challenge, but I think we can do this one. Let's try a handstand hold, come back down to lunge finish. I think you guys can do this one on the high beam. Sophia says we can, then we can. Then we must believe that we can. Okay. Insane guys. Oh my god! Amazing! That was so, so good. cool. Next we are trying a backwards walkover. We're going back to the small beams first and then we might attempt it on the bigger beam. When we do back walks on beam, we want to have what we call butterfly hands. So you want to have your thumbs touching. That way you can go back and grab the beam. They're gonna try it on the line first to make sure their hands are on the beam. Thank you. 
was amazing. I think it was the most slow motion back walkover I have ever seen. And that's why I'm so impressed. <laughs> Now that we are professional level six beamers, we're coming to floor. We're nearly done, guys. This is our last one. We're gonna try a roundup back handspring back tuck, which is the first pass for a level six routine. The first pass, really? Yes. Yes. Oh my yes. god! Wow. That's Second amazing. Pass. Yeah, second pass is a front tuck. And then we have a switch leap, which I already know you guys can do, and a full turn. No way. Battle wounds. Oh my gosh. Oh, okay, or double. That's fine. Okay, wow. Well, we're a little past level six here, guys. Yes! Next is going to be a switch leap. This is one of the artistic skills that is required to be a level six gymnast on the floor. Wow. Beautiful. Nice! That was beautiful. Beautiful! Strug is Carrie Strug, who is a famous Olympic athlete. And this was her skill, so it got named after her. So cool. So that was a skill that you would use in level 9 or level 10. <laughs> Not bad for her first attempt. That was insane. Yeah, that's it. Last, but certainly not least. Actually, what requires the most energy, I think. We <laughs> say for last. Huh? Round up my case back top. <laughs> most important part is the stick. And then... <laughs> Layout is usually level seven, but if you do level seven rather than six, that's even better, right? So you guys use a totally different technique that we use with gymnastics, and what I was saying to Tegan, uh, as you were tumbling, is you probably have to because you guys don't have springs on the floor. What we do in gymnastics is being able to utilize the springs with tight bodies. So you guys do more of a whip where you go whip back yeah. and then toes and that's like the big no-no in gymnastics. Set. We call it a set. And that's where it differs from a dancer's flip is dancers don't set, they just go back. But we have springs. So we want to be tight and set up and the springs send us up into the air. That's it. That's the back of everyone. Hey, that looks scary than doing it. You do a punch for two feet, front flip, land. I'm excited to learn some tips and techniques because I really need to improve this. We want to be up tall, hips forward, head up. So a lot of people think front tuck is this. It's actually this. That gives us lift. Then we tuck. Another famous rule, space for your face. You always want to flip here, never here. Creates a lot of bloody noses. We don't need that at the end of practice tonight. <laughs> So I've decided to attempt the front tuck, not into the foam pit, so I'll be landing on this mat. Survival mode right I now. I literally have like any delay. Just trying to survive. Yeah. <laughs> oh, yeah. Front landings are the hardest. Yeah. Being afraid to do it into the pit, to doing it on the floor now, in a matter of 10 minutes, insane. There you go. Beautiful. You landed it. Yeah, you landed it. I'll give you those six feels. So good. <laughs> Since the front tucks were so good, if we get to 40,000 likes, next video, they're gonna learn a front with a half twist. Oh, oh my god. god. You can do it. I'm so honored to see you guys like blossom and oh do these skills. God. That was incredible. Seriously, <laughs> didn't have done it with that, you so Yeah, because this is so 
Awesome. Yes, thank you so much. This is such a mental and physical game. And like, literally, we've been here for hours. You guys can see like the shorter version, but wow. Of course. Of course. I'm so happy I got to meet you guys. I can't wait to teach you how to twist next time. Oh my gosh. <laughs> Actually, comment down below which skills Sophia should teach us next time. Oh my gosh, that's such a good idea. Make sure you check out Sophia's channel. She does amazing videos all on gymnastics and teaching people new things and subscribe. Plus, watch the video that we did on her channel. Remember guys, we post every single week, so we'll see you guys next week. See ya! Yeah.